so I'm Heidi Hall. I am the director here at Central School of Ballet. Um, it's a very special place for me because I trained here uh, along with Chris. We were, we were both alumni of the school. Um, and we returned to Central to uh, look after it at this um, really pivotal time in the school's history. Uh, my name is Chris Marnie and I'm the Artistic Director here at Central School of Ballet. I trained here, as Heidi just said. Um, we were here at the school under the founder director, Christopher Gable, um, and I danced uh, for, for a living. I performed at Sadler's Wells with Matthew Bourne's New Adventures for many years, and uh, now I've come back a year and a half ago and started with Heidi leading the school. I suppose for me one of the proudest moments was um, uh, performing uh, in Phantom of the Opera, playing the role of Meg Giri, which is a principal role um, in Phantom of the Opera. And it's, um, it was something that was very much the ethos of this school when I trained here. We were, uh, the founder, Christopher Gable, was, had a career in musical theatre and we worked with um, Gillian Lynn, who was the choreographer. So I think for me that was, to get to that point was a real sort of pinnacle moment in my dance career. I suppose another area was actually taking on the directorship of this school after many years of um, performing. I think as a dancer there's lots of um, achievements throughout your career, uh, but one of the main things for me I think was being able to include my family in everything I did as a performer. So, uh, meaning that they came all the way around the world with me on tour and uh, they saw different places that they never would have been to if it wasn't for sort of the career that I had. What makes me feel as though I'm living life to the fullest is that I never have enough time. <laughs> so I think that makes me feel as though I am really trying to jam pack everything in, both personally and professionally. Um, being a working mum, um, I dash from home uh, in the morning and dash here and then dash back uh, for, for my children. But, but then also the day is full of uh, different things. I never know from one day to the next what's going to happen. And I can be working with students or talking to funders or donors. Or, um, and so in a way, I think that makes me feel that I'm living life to the fullest because I never have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a bit of time out as well, I think, is something that we've both uh, talked about because there was something that really struck a chord with me when we had um, someone come in to talk to us about mindfulness. And they said, in your busy life, uh, do you ever take a moment to kind of appreciate a building that you walk past or have the sensation of the water when you're washing your hands? That really stuck with me. And I thought, ah, it's, you know, we, we're so busy running from studio to theatre to home that those moments where you take the time out to, to, to really sort of appreciate things are goals. Yeah, and it will change when you have children. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have time to wash my hands. <laughs> Professional success to me is often felt sort of at the end of the year at graduation um, when I see that the students have had a happy course and a happy time at Central. Um, especially with the third years because we go out on a tour and they perform all over the country. You sort of, you, you feel the success when you see how happy they are on the road touring and performing and then ultimately when they get jobs in, in the profession. Yeah. And I think for um, us also, for taking them when they're 16 from the first year, we're really privileged to uh, be part of their journey and sometimes those journeys are really bumpy and uh, we sort of have to look after them as young people, not just as dancers, but as um, you know, young people finding their way in life. And uh, we always say that this is the place to make your mistakes in an environment where people still care about you very much. I think retirement has a, a real stigma in the, yeah. in the arts and dance because everyone is scared of that word because you're constantly being told it's a short career and 
it, it's a shame because you shouldn't be because in a way you 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 have two or more careers. Yeah, I think that's why it's a difficult one to answer because we've retired already. <laughs> Do you, it's like being a footballer or something. As a dancer, you when your career finishes as a dancer, you've retired, and so therefore you're not. We don't think about ourselves as not doing something so we've sort of gone on to do something else so um, so we won't really ever retire we won't ever we'll retire all, we'll always Can't afford sort of, to retire uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll always be i think active in the arts 